for Children and Youth Services. I'd like to welcome some participants today from Epilepsy Action who are here. Uh, Margaret May, the president and founder of Ep Epilepsy Cure Initiative. Dr. McIntyre Burnham, or Mac Burnham, uh, from the Epilepsy Ontario Executive. Gary Newman of Epilepsy Cure Initiative, Thomas Drag of the Epilepsy Cure Initiative, and Peter Grav Jervach. Uh, all of them are here today for Epilepsy Action Day, and welcome to Queen's Park. Time for member statements. The member from Whitby, Oshawa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to rise today to speak about Epilepsy Action Day, and I welcome representatives from Epilepsy Ontario and the Epilepsy Cure Initiative to Queen's Park. I also welcome Diane McKenzie and Deanna McDonald from Epilepsy Durham. I commend the work of these organizations in promoting awareness and understanding of epilepsy and advocating for policy issues of concern to the 140,000 Ontario adults and children impacted by epilepsy. These issues include developing evidence-based standards for diagnosis and treatment, ensuring individuals have access to anti-epileptic drugs that maintain their independence, productivity and quality of life, and increasing access for individuals with epilepsy to receive ODSP benefits. Most individuals with epilepsy receive treatment from their family physicians who often lack specialized training and knowledge in the area of epilepsy. They may also lack specialized diagnosis and assessment tools. There is only one epileptologist for every 4,000 epilepsy patients in Ontario. As a result, there are long wait lists to receive specialized care. While there, much has been accomplished, there is still much more to do, and I thank Epilepsy Ontario for their ongoing efforts. Park, Delhi Park. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I add my voice to those of my colleague from Whitby, Oshawa, to welcome those who are here and witnessing to epilepsy awareness from various organizations. I particularly want to point out Margaret May and Gary Newman from my own riding, who have been tireless advocates for this cause. Uh, folk may not know that one in a hundred people suffer from epilepsy, that next to headaches, it's the most common neurological disorder. And also, uh, to add to, to what my colleague has already said, uh, we're looking at uh, special needs for special diet, particularly for those who are on ODSP. And I know that the government is reviewing that right now. I would ask them to take particular care to include epileptics in that review. And also uh, brought to my attention again by Gary and Margaret in my own writing is the need for a centre where people can get dietary advice and support because diet can be one of the best, uh, uh, really the best treatments for epilepsy and we need more information. It's a difficult diet to follow. We need more support, especially for parents struggling around that issue with their children and also for adult epileptics. So again, welcome to Queen's Park. Uh, certainly on March 26, I'd ask all my colleagues colleagues to wear purple and take a picture of themselves and send it to our tireless advocates. I intend on doing that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Emerson Davenport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today we are wearing purple ribbons in honour uh, for those who are here today because today is uh, Epilepsy Action Day at Queen's Park. March is the uh, month during which epilepsy organizations hold their celebrations of March Epilepsy Awareness Month, specifically March 26. Purple Day is a global day for promoting epilepsy awareness in countries around the world. People from around the globe are asked to wear purple today and spread the word about epilepsy. Even the CN Tower, Mr. Speaker, in Toronto and Niagara Falls will illuminate their buildings and purple to showcase their support. All of us are thrilled today. We're joined by a number of representatives who have a passion and belief in promoting that awareness for epilepsy. I'd like to introduce some of them to the House. Margaret May, the president of the Epilepsy, epilepsy Cure Initiative, Gary Neumann, and their son, Thomas. Now, Mr. Speaker, as you know, since March 26 has never been declared officially by the Government of Ontario as Epilepsy Awareness Day, yeah. I like all members of the House to support, to support the resolution today, which says that epilepsy 26 of March should be Epilepsy Awareness Purple Day in the province of Ontario to be celebrated annually during Epilepsy Awareness Month with the hope that we can build greater understanding and support for people with epilepsy, reduce the stigma, find a cure for seizures, and improve the quality of life for our communities in Ontario. And so, Mr. Speaker, to all those who are here today, I say thank you very much and congratulations. Good Epilepsy Special Day. 